Well, Hellfire, it is Rock the Riff, and I am back for another Metalhead ending. And today I'm going to check out Left to Suffer Artificial Anatomy featuring Kim Dracula. Uh, I had I was starting to go down the rabbit hole of Kim Dracula. Uh, the third song I checked out of his, I think it was called Drowning or Drown. I can't remember exactly. I made a whole video and put it on YouTube and YouTube blocked it or the copyright holders blocked it. I don't know if YouTube really had anything to do with it. But uh, today's suggestion, uh, it's kind of ironic that it is featuring Ken Dracula, but it comes from Ryan Ticket. He said, check out the new Left to Suffer and Kim Dracula song, Artificial Anatomy, Straight Fire. It's a collaboration we never knew we needed. <laughs> okay, so uh, I don't know. I don't know Left to Suffer really at all. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't think there's any track I've ever really listened to them. So basically, I'm going to knock out two birds with one stone, check out some more stuff from Kim Dracula, and... Uh, have a first time check out of Left to Supper. But let's dive on in. Okay. I like where the Hell yeah, I was gonna say I like this music video so far. This shit is cool. And it's like, that's some practical effects I would want to do in my own band's music videos and stuff. I feel like I recognize this, this dude. I swear I think I've seen him on TikTok. If it's the same guy, that motherfucker has got some vocal chops. Multi scale. Dude, that dude has got some chops. I swear this is the same guy I've seen on TikTok before. But I was wanting to catch a glimpse. Uh, see the bass player. Yeah, a ding wall. I want a ding wall bass so fucking bad. It's not even funny. That that's perfect. A five string multi scale. Hope I hope that is a ding wall. I can't see the headstock or nothing. But I swear that I think the guitarist is using multi scale too. I can't I can't praise multi scale enough, man. Like, uh, I've, I've got two. I've got a Harley Benton, and then I've got this Kiesel. I will say I like the Kiesel a little bit better because the, the, the fan fret spread isn't as drastic. The Harley Benton one I have, it's pretty good, but it's, like, extreme. Um, my, my favorite frets, uh, I always get picked on about it. My favorite frets are the first five frets. I'm all about as low tuning and first five frets as I can get but the Harley Benton's fan is extreme that way towards the nut but then the middle of the neck is perfect but then once you get past like the 13th uh, 14th fret it really shifts again real bad but that Kiesel is super comfortable and it's it's fan or whatever the hell it is actually called it's fans not as bad so now every time i see any other i want to get me a multi-scale seven string now but uh i'd have to find me one that i'm really digging this track is hitting fucking hard already i like that sample Right now, I'm 
that him? That was fucking good, dude. That was so fucking good. Tell me Jonathan Davis isn't Kim Dracula's biggest influence. Damn, I wish Kim was in the video so we could actually see some crazy antics. If that was him. I don't know if that's the main singer or if that was Kim. What little bit I know of Kim Dracula, that sounded like some shit he would do. That was fucking slick. <laughs> I can't even fucking imitate it. I gotta send this to my, my bandmates. I know for a fact. I'm pretty sure my drummer's gonna get a kick out of this track. That might take the cake for the track. Fucking scat man. <laughs> that was fucking slick. I I dig the fuck out of that, bro. Devils in broad day. He's right before your eyes. Fucking. Why was that day? this fucking song hits hard as fuck i do feel like it's it's fallen into that category of like how many ones and zeros can we do and chunking out and everything but they're doing it well like uh like i've heard this type of song a lot i think it's really trending right now in metal but left us over is fucking killing it with this. I have to fully say that. This song is fucking hitting hard as fuck. And then the vocalist here. This dude is fucking sick. Nasty. That little bit of like. Within the screen. That's fucking cool. Kind of made me think of. uh Like you gotta. I guess you gotta give props to. Will Ramos and uh, Lorna Shore for making this. Well, I wouldn't say making this, but like they definitely. What song was it? To the Hellfire or some shit like that. Where he does at the end where he does the whole. <laughs> like. I don't know. That just cleared up a little bit of phlegm though. <laughs> but uh. I'm just so happy that more people are getting into this and we're getting away from the whole fucking, oh, they scream, you can't understand what they're saying. Like, maybe I'm in a weird group of people, but I really don't give a fuck what they're saying. <laughs> I don't care. It's the, it's the music, it's the instrumentation that I go for, but then, to me, vocalists just add the, the flair or the, or the salt I mean, it's just, when you've got a good vocalist, it just, I know most people connect with vocals more than they do the music, and I think I'm the polar opposite. Like, I'm already digging this song because I love the zeros and one riffs. I love how fucking intense it is. The 
those rhythm changes the sample work is probably what really sells this to me it's like uh, my own band we're working with uh, a lady from Australia right now and she's basically writing orchestra choir sample like evil sounding sample stuff that's like in this song to one of our tracks at the moment and I hear this and I'm like ah man this is so fucking good I love the sample work I really really fucking dig this track yeah that's some fucking talent to control your vocals like that Okay, I think I need to dive into Left to Suffer. They have just done their job to a thousand percent for me, and I am fucking wanting to go into a left to suffer rabbit hole. That little acoustic ending, ah, oh, damn! I would have, I would have never thought that was coming, but I, I'm glad. I dig the fuck out of that. That looks cool. The music video looks fucking fantastic. The location. I'm just sitting here going, man, now if I do a music video, I would love to be able to do something like this, but I got to make it my own. I can't like copy, copy and paste. It really, it made me think of which zombie movie is it? It's like the lady standing at the white wall and all of a sudden like a fucking thousand hands just push out of the wall trying to grab at her. Yeah, that fucking track was sick. I I want to. I'm hoping that the part that I think is Kim Dracula is Kim Dracula. I mean, it it both of them are hell of vocals. Both of them got vocal chops from hell. Uh, and then I I like the 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 rat -a -tat 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 of how fast they can do their vocal lines. What's crazy is I, I make a speech about how the instrumentation is mostly what I focus on, but for me, the vocals are the MVP of this track. Like, don't don't get me wrong. Everything on this track was popping. If I had to give this a horn, this is 10 out of 10 horn song for me. This shit hits every metal note that I want to be fucking hit within a song, and they, they didn't crack quite cracked four minutes but that song did not feel like it was only three minutes and 40 something seconds that was a good length i guess if the if the music industry is going to this whole everybody has to write short ass songs three minutes like what they did here fucking nailed it damn man, that was a good journey i fucking i really dig the fuck out of this song Hell fire. This ends up being your first time to my channel. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Give me some more stuff to check out. Uh, I'm always trying to check out music across the, the board. You could let me know some other good Left to Suffer songs to check out. It could be a different band. Whatever is floating your boat at the moment in time. Uh, I'm always trying to get my music palette bigger. Listen to cool ass bands that will help... Uh, influence my own writing and make me a better musician and write cooler stuff for my own band and yeah i can't think of nothing else cool to say so stay positive stay rocking i'll catch y'all in the next one